Hello friends, it's Suzanne here from sunstampin.com. Welcome to the 12 part mini series called Crafting at the Lake House, the September 2023 version. <laughs> In this mini series, I am going to demonstrate 12 projects plus three, yes, you heard it right, three bonus projects that were designed for these attendees. Now in the past, I had shared the event venue with you, but today I am sharing the faces and excitement of the attendees. We had a really special time together. Lots of laughter, fun, food, and goodies. That's what crafting is all about to me. I had a really amazing team that helped me out too. I am blessed with the best of friends. Thank you guys. So the book that everyone is excitedly showing you is a card design sketchbook called The Card Maker's Companion. The link is below if you wanna order one for yourself. They're sold on Amazon. Now, let's get into the projects. Hello friends, here we are with bonus card number two. I'm using all the supplies that were given to the attendees. Um, of course, we had some designer series paper, so I cut this piece down to four by six using this particular design because it's gonna look fantastic on our Berry Christmas Cards and Envelopes card and envelope. <laughs> Uh, all the attendees were gifted some of the Berry Christmas memories and more cards and envelopes. So they're kind of a weird size. So the four by six works really nicely uh, for a card piece on this card base. And the, it's balmy blue, actually, the card base is. It's lovely. And you get a nice um, snowflakey envelope just like this snowflakes on the front and on the back. All right, so I'm going to ink up my sentiment that says Christmas is better together. And I stamped that and that is in Night of Navy. And here I'm doing a practice in stamping off. So you can see you get three different tones of that Night of Navy. I happen to like the third one the best. And honestly, a little rule is that if you have a lighter bits on your tag, say, you know, if you're wanting to make these tags, um, it looks lovely with a, a lighter. You can actually even stamp over the sentiment as long as the ink is lighter. So here is that gorgeous balmy blue sparkle ribbon. This brings me back to my grandmother. I was very young and she gifted me a red velvet dress that was exactly like this. I, it didn't uh, last long but I wore it for one season and of course my father being Mr. Christmas we all had to dress up for Christmas and oh he was a joy. He's gone now but um, uh, passed away in 97 but anyway Anyway, um, it, uh, Christmas always reminds me of him and sometimes it's sad because I don't get to spend Christmas with my dad anymore. And you know, my grandmother too, she's gone. Anyway, uh, before this gets depressing, you guys. <laughs> um, so it was this thick ribbon that couldn't really go through those tag holes. And by the way, those are tailor-made dies is what um, I used to cut the tags. Oh, I do remember that red velvet dress, though. So sparkly and oh, loved it. All right. Uh, so I'm going to adhere this with dimensionals on my card. I'm just trying to situate which way I like it. And I'm actually going to put a dimensional in between the two. So again, you guys, uh, you can see all the supplies I used uh, today listed below in the video see more section or in the supplies section of my blog. And those fast links are going to take you to my Canadian online store where I would love the chance to meet you and earn your business. So here is my card for today. So cute. Love the polar bears. Love the cool feeling of this or the cool vibe of this card it's so lovely thanks for watching you guys bye for now